Hello and welcome to episode 32 of the Swim Run Show podcast. The swim run season in the UK is now over. Yes, it came to a close with a double header weekend on the 28th and 29th of September. The Eliminator in Liverpool and the Survivor in Graffham Water. And it was quite a weekend of racing. The Eliminator was a colder version than the May edition. Um, the water was around 13 degrees. In May it was 18 um, it's worth noting the Prince's Dock, where the, the swims are, is only about two meters deep, so it reacts quite quickly to changes in air temperature. Um, so, yeah, it generally warms up pretty quick and also cools down quickly. So there we go. Uh, it was a great race. Lewis Williams, who was our guest this week, an accomplished triathlete, former elite level um, on off-road triathlon, and he's going, he's trying to become... Gets pro license uh, in the old uh, long distance Ironman, whatever that is. Um, so, yeah, you know. So, yeah, it was great to chat with Lewis. It was 100% from lap one, you know, so enthusiastic, loving his dives. Yeah, it was it was great energy um, on the day and great competition with David. A big shout out, too, to Victoria Cole, who came first lady uh, at the Eliminator. Victoria is an accomplished uh, aquaflon athlete uh, based out of Clandonno. Uh, Gog Triathlon is her club. We had a few from uh, Gog. Of course, Rianne Roxburgh is um, heavily involved with Gog, so um, great to see those guys up again. And yeah, let's crack on with... Oh yeah, I must say, I did mention 2025 dates for, for racing in the UK. I'm going to cover that in the maybe next episode or a soon uh, but I did mention to Lewis that the Uto swim run in Sweden was uh, confirmed for the 14th of June. It's not actually 100% confirmed yet. So correction, um, just bear that in mind. I'm sure it will be confirmed as soon as possible. So let's crack on. Lewis was on his way to Scotland when we recorded uh, for a big race, the Rock Triathlon uh, in Scotland that goes up Ben Nevis. That's a significant uh, run, should we call it? So, yeah, I can tell you he came fifth. Well done. A tough field, a big field and a competitive field on the day. And no doubt it was a cold one. <laughs> so here we go. Let's crack on. Okay, Lewis Williams. How are you, Lewis? I'm well, thank you, Mark. How are you? I'm good, very good. Starting to uh, get my head above water after a busy September. Yeah, no, definitely, definitely. Thank you once again for having me on, on the podcast. No worries, man, no worries. Well, um, good to have another youngster on. Uh, how old, You're like a 20-something? I'm 23, yeah. I, wow, I think cool. I'm 23. <laughs> well done. And uh, so I met Lewis last week at the Eliminator in Liverpool, and I th I'm pretty sure I saw him uh at some point in Gothenburg that uh, out in August was that right you in... yeah that's quite quite right so yeah me, me and Charlie did um the Gothenburg uh swim run and we did we did the long course which was yeah good good fun um pretty pretty tough that was our second second ever swim run and oh, yeah. pretty, <laughs> a bit of a deep end a bit of twisting by fire but yeah it's good yeah Okay, yeah, we'll we'll have a we'll look have a look into that. Though. Uh, but first of all, uh, what's like what's your background in sport, Lewis? Uh, um, so yeah, but mostly triathlon stuff, stuff um, the road road scene when I was quite young, and before before that, I was obviously being a, a classic boy was football, um, and then yeah, for, done triathlon for about 12, 12 years, done um, elite level racing or like racing against professionals. Had the privilege of being on like, the start line with Alistair Pro, um, Alistair or the Brownie Brothers. Um, yeah. so that's been that's been quite interesting. Like actually being backed up against them in transition or beside them, that's quite cool. Um, but nothing, um, not really quite quite good enough to compete with with them as such. Like be uh, first or second, as they they'd come normally first, and I'd be I'd be way way back in the pack if if not behind. So um, yeah, just just having fun really in the sport, and then moving to off road triathlon and kind of having more fun in adventure racing. Um, I, find, I find that kind of off-road side of things a lot more enjoyable doing like the cross-country runs or felt running and going out on my mountain bikes. That's what I did as a kid with my mates after school. 
um so yeah kind of a bit more or, or I'll say organic is that the right word i don't know um but yeah just going, going off road and yeah having, having fun and messing around really yeah, i think that's a secret to longevity yeah definitely definitely so uh okay so you so you do some of the cross try stuff off-road triathlon yeah so mostly um extra racing so um massive scene in europe um just yeah you got extra germany extra france extra czech and these are really tough brilliant races and they've recently brought the world champs to morveno um which is a beautiful place and an amazing course um and really really tough so yeah it's really good fun um something definitely to try if you, you love the off-road side of things um, and especially out in Europe, their their courses are incredible. Uh, I, I think it's because they've got lack of health and safety, which is marvellous, and it allows them to be a bit more mental uh, with the courses, which, which I, I love. We do have an X7 UK now, um, a duathlon in the winter, and we have a triathlon in the summer, which is a, it's a good course. It's a bit more tame, um, but it's a really good course, especially if you're getting into um, Xterra racing. It's brilliant. Mm-hmm. Is that is that Staffordshire Way or, or somewhere? Yeah, um, it's Western Park. Western Park. Yeah, yeah, I've yeah. heard of that one. Yeah, yeah. cool, <laughs> cool. Um, so, so how did you hear about Swim Run? Um, really good question. I, I, I can't pinpoint the moment to be honest. Um, I think being like doing multi sports and always looking for new adventures and new challenges. I think I, I must have come across it on either YouTube or you, you just hear about events like that. You hear about mm. triathlon, you hear about triathlon and stuff like that and you get involved. Um, and I, I must have just heard about Swim Run and then there was one locally going on at Mitchett. Um, I can't remember the company off the top of my head that runs it. And I thought that, that looks like a, I think it's like South, South, South West, East Swim Run. South, 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 South East Swim Run, yep. yeah, that's them. And so, so we, we, did, we did that event. Uh, it, it was good fun. We won it. Um, I mean, like, oh, this, this seems all right. And I was just coming back from injury as well. So, um, yeah, it, it was just great, great fun. And we did that. And we're like, okay, what was, what's next in this sort kind of thing? And so, yeah, we've done, that's how we got into it. So it's not really an interesting story as such. But, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, that's how, yeah. Well, that's brilliant. It started from, from I know Paul and Jude organised South East Swim Run. Uh, very much, yeah, trying to get people started in the sport, quite short courses, and and it worked. You know, yeah. you did it. Your next race was then a World Series in Gothenburg. Yeah. <laughs> so, so just in Mitchett, was it? Were you racing solo or or team? No, me, me and Charlie, um, we raced as a team, um, right. and and yeah, we we won overall. We won, we won, yeah, cool. it was just good fun. Cool. Um, cool. No, no, pool boys. Uh, no, it was pool boys. Not allowed. Um, we didn't have a toe between ourselves, so I ended up because Charlie's not very not very good with paddles. She's a good swimmer, but paddles are too too big for her. Um, so ended up I'd finish <laughs> have to wait for her, and then we'd run together that kind of thing. But that's good fun. Okay, okay. So, and then you uh, did you use a toe uh, a bungee on the um, in Gothenburg? Yeah. Yep. So yeah, we you, you used yeah you used used a toe for that one. Cool. Interesting race, Gotham, but it's a bit different to most with the, the amount of transitions and, yes, you know, so cool. yeah, yeah. I mean, that's, it's another, almost a different kind of sport to some swim runs, uh, having that amount of transitions. Because in, in the UK, there's there's some races where there's only about six transitions potentially. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Um, how did you get on with that? Um, it, it's, it's really good fun. We, we really enjoyed it. Uh, it, it was it was quite tough. So Charlie, my, my partner that I did it with, um, she she's a great swimmer, especially like she's got a background in from British for me. Um, she she's can do a fifty seven four hundred meters. So she's mega fast, but with the with the paddles, the paddles just too too much for her shoulders because she she normally goes off a high turnover. So she okay. she struggled a lot with the paddles, um, and she's not got a background in running, especially off road running on rocks. So being towed to each other. Was a bit tough. Also, after the first the first swim, where we weren't towed together, it was a bit like oh, where's, where's Charlie gone kind of thing. Um, and then yeah, it just it, I didn't drag her for seven hours, but it was it wasn't far off that. Um, so it was, yeah, it was beautiful, like beautiful scenery. And Nanny and Charlie would look at the scenery and then fall over because she's not looking where her feet go, which is part part of the fun. And yeah, yeah, you just we got we got round. Um, 
nothing yeah nothing special we, we just love the scenery really like I've, I've not been to any like cluster of islands like that before and just been, had the privilege to run run and swim between them and I haven't and it's not very often I have to get a ferry to the start line so that was also quite 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 good fun and yeah really yeah. really nice environment and brilliant to just be racing other people and have other people around in in the races yeah, yeah lovely yeah. and the rocking the rocky entrances in and out of the water which just great because I'll, I'll be running along just like warning Charlie like slippy here and then before you know I've already slipped into the water and I'll, I'm underneath so yeah it's, it's brilliant I highly recommend I think I've done a little video about it and also they were kind enough to send me some videos of the course um, so oh, that's cool. on my that's my reels somewhere so yeah highly, highly cool. recommend Gothenburg yeah yeah yeah, no, it is, it is great, isn't it? And uh, well, you got through it together as well. And, yeah. And you know, that's you know, that's so that's your first swim run with a, with a tether, you know, and and so that, I'm sure you learned loads on that. Oh, 100 uh, percent, like yeah. calf guards. Everyone was telling us, oh, you need calf guards, you need calf guards. So, so we got some of the decathlon's finest calf guards, and after the first swim, they'd come down, drop down to our ankles. And then we realise it's going to be a long day out because we're effectively just dragging ankle weight. Well, not ankle weights, but yeah, yeah I know what you mean. more drag around the ankles. Yeah, um, yeah, I, yeah. yeah. Okay, that's interesting. Yes. Just be careful with swim run advice. Yeah, I mean, a lot of it's really good, um, yeah. but it, it, it's, it doesn't work for, you know, what works for <laughs> Tommy down the road. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I, I never almost, I think I wore, calf got one calf god once and that was because i had a calf injury it was a really <laughs> tight um a tight one that i knew i tested and it stayed on uh, but generally i never wear calf guards and that works for me uh, some people it, they do work for so yeah it's uh it's a good point that and the old well you've learned that one anyway so <laughs> yeah, I learned that. also, also um, with, with Gothenburg, they changed the um the course length, so it was a lot shorter running and um, a similar amount of swimming, and then they upped the running quite a bit. And Charlie really struggled with that because we were we were planning to hopefully have a shorter shorter course. So that was a little challenge in itself. So check check, well not check yeah. the courses, but maybe if it's if it's a bit longer than anticipated, maybe drop down the distance. But we yeah, we toughed it out. We got we got through. Yeah. We were the first British pair, so we'll say yes. That. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. yeah seven stuff, out, seven hours on the move. That that was the first time Charlie's ever bolted or anything like that. So right. that was also an awesome experience. <laughs> yeah. So so Charlie's um so she's a swimmer background and yeah. does she do any running like obviously she's just running, but I mean what what's her running background? Um it started about two years ago. Um and that was just me encouraging her to get out and run. Um, cause she wants to, she eventually wants to do an Ironman distance triathlon. Um, I was like, well, you're going to have to practice cause be, being a swimmer, they're really, really good flexible ankles, but not necessarily the strongest, and especially for like swim run and off, off road running, you need strong ankles. So like you, you need to build them up over time and the first couple of months or maybe to be fair, the first, first year was very, very difficult. So I was trying to get that strength in them and just get them that bit stiffer to, to allow her to run. Um, so yeah, it's very much, uh, Get, get conditioned so that, that's a background just going out joining a local running club doing a few cross countries for them she's recently done um, a half marathon and yeah just trying to build up the running really that's her background cool. in running yeah cool well that's good i take it she enjoyed i mean it, i saw you both for the eliminator and uh, it was a cold day it was very <laughs> very cold and um but she, she yeah she did all right but i could see she wasn't too happy with the cold <laughs> I don't yeah, think. No, yeah we, we struggle with, with the cold a bit but yeah, it's, it's good fun nonetheless and yeah we, we got all eliminated by the runs so that was all right um yeah yeah it was, it was quite cold that day that's funny yeah 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 so um so yeah lewis went off so so david did the eliminator in may and what happened to you in a way Happened to him in May uh, mm. with another guy. Uh, so he, he he went off fast, fast-ish for every, not fast, but you know, at the front every lap. And mm. Paul just stayed behind him, uh, and then on the last lap, overtook him. And you you did like sub seventeen minutes every lap, I think, yeah. which, is, which is quite fast, you know, <laughs> considering the first lap you've got twenty six minutes to do. But you were just so enthusiastic, I guess. Yeah. And you, you were loving it, and and it's also great training for you. 
No, how was how was that your approach or how how did you? Yeah, my approach it? wasn't the yeah. I didn't, I didn't kill kill the laps. So I just I just did them how how I felt just enough to keep me warm. And then when I finished, I was just trying to either dry myself or just relax and have a little bit of rest. And then the the first the one before the last one was very much like. I, I could tell David was knew what he was doing because there's only like three or four of us on the last lap. So I was like, okay, I'll just go, I'll go out ham here just to show them what they've got to, they've got to do to win kind of thing, a bit of a mental, mental game. Um, and then, yeah, I just put, pushed David. So he had to do a sub 16 to, to beat me, I think was the, um, the, fi- the yes. final one. And yeah, it, it, was, it was great fun just ramping it up each time, practicing the dives in. And then, then that, yeah, that last lap was yeah we went, we were going quite a bit fit faster so yeah, um, seventeen or seventeen thirty for all the others and then that last the last one was um, I think sixteen on the dot for me that's because my pool boy fell down with Michael twice um, yeah yeah it was a bit annoying but hey that's part part of racing and yeah that David was was great as well to be honest like he um, he made, he made me work I was trying to get off his feet to come round him on the last swim. So I get out of the water and finally he was like just just blocking me and that's brilliant. That, that is that's racing. And he, he was a very good competition for that. I still yeah. think I, I had him on the spin, but I, I didn't because uh, my four way. So, yeah, maybe yeah. next time. Next time we'll give it another go. Yeah, yeah no, it was brilliant. It was brilliant to see. It was yeah. that last lap was uh, yeah intense. And uh, so I, I saw you go under the bridge, and I think I think David was just ahead. Yeah. Did you? Did David keep that? Did he get out the the exit, the last exit, just ahead? Yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah, um, yeah. we dived, we dived in um, for that last that last swim, and then my my float. So it's like fifty fifty. Sometimes the float would go down to my ankle. Sometimes it wouldn't. It just depends how like how well I kept my legs together. Um, so yeah, we're not going for that toe thing around the around the thigh anymore. Um, so yeah, that that just come down down my ankle. So I had to pull that back up to. In, in line with or just closer to my torso otherwise it really really was putting a bit of pressure on my hips um and annoying and on my ankle so yeah pull, pull it up we caught back up with david and then i was just trying to get around david and then yeah we got out of the water and it came down my ankle again so yeah, yeah. all part of race part of fun yeah but no. yeah I got, I got back onto his i got back onto his feet and that was all right that's yeah. all i needed to do yeah 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 no brilliant i, th- I think it'd be a great battle again uh if it happens uh but yeah he did i think david did the fastest lap ever on on the last lap with 15 46 and he, he gave all he, every, he, was, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he gave it all on that last lap <laughs> yeah that's, cool. that's good that's good that's what you want you want a hearty racing yeah definitely definitely so another another kit kind of thing there we've let calf guards you've learned about the the pole boy most people now use the waist you know um, yeah the waist bungee. Um, some people still do it on the, on the leg, on the thigh. Uh, it's worth yeah, just playing around with. Uh, the, the dive entry is quite re- quite unusual in, in most swim run entries. Um, I know like in Gothenburg, you kind of fall in the water or yeah. <laughs> or you do a belly flop or something, you know. Um, mm. uh, but um, it is, it's quite hard to keep the pull boy in, in between the legs on the dive. Um, so, yeah. It's quite a eliminator specific one. <laughs> yeah, definitely yeah, great to see you there. Yeah. So, um, and and Charlie did well as well. So, uh, got to the four flap, and I, I think a few people because it was cold went off harder for the first few laps just to keep warm. Yeah, and and that probably maybe took a little edge on the the kind of final lap that they did, um, possibly. But anyway. Just, just the conditions on the day, then. Yeah, it's, it's very much. Yeah, these, these first couple of laps were very much jump, jump in, and you're back to being cold or back to having an, a bit of an ice cream head, as we call it. Um, and then, yeah, trying to get rid of that. So yeah, it's quite interesting. And yeah. then afterwards, I had, like little red patches on my face, either where I'd been diving or it'd been too cold on my face. But <laughs> all, all good fun. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, you were doing some great dives. Must yeah. Have <laughs> <laughs> um, cool. So. Any anything? What, what's coming up next? You you got a race in Scotland, right? Tomorrow? Yeah. So weekend. tomorrow I'm doing the the Rock Scotland. So that's um, hopefully if it's not too cold, it's a 1.5k swim, and then a 28k bike on the West Highland Way, followed by a running up and down Ben Nevis. Then you bike back to Kinloch Leven, um, where the swim was, 
and then you run another kilometre for good measure, and then you're done. So um, that's that's this weekend. It's called the Rock Scotland. Yeah, is that part of the because of the Rock Wales, isn't there? It's the yeah. same. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, there's, okay, Rock, cool. there's Rock England as well. So it's kind of part of their series. Rocky. Yeah, yeah, brilliant. Brilliant. Okay, I'll uh, I'll check. Oh, they've got a race tracker as well. I see. Yeah, yeah. so I, I did it last year. I finished work at four o'clock on a Friday evening, drove up there. Uh, I got there for one in the morning, slept in the car, got up at six to do the race. I raced for 45 minutes. I was at the front with my mate Ian, and then I got a puncher. So then I ended up getting a lift back to transition um, and then drove home. <laughs> so hopefully <laughs> oh. it'll be a bit better because that was, I think it was like 10 or 11 hours, of, or maybe 10 hours of driving. So yeah, oh, that was pretty rough. <laughs> yeah, so... Um... Okay, so you go up to the top of Ben Nevis as well. Yeah. Okay, that's that'll be interesting. Um, I don't know. Yeah. Okay, I'm just looking at the course. That looks pretty cool. In Scotland, yeah. That the Eliminator was good training then, in that sense, in yeah, terms of the water course, temp. That's, well, that's more like why, why I did, or part of the reason why I did the Eliminator was purely get ready for that cold and get ready for that, that cold hit. Yeah. Hopefully, yeah. hopefully that'll pay off. Yeah. yeah, definitely. Well, good luck also, with that. Also, um, yeah, I've got a hat so that should help keep me warm as well. Oh, yeah, the near, yeah, Lewis won a neoprene hat. hat. Um, yeah. Well, yeah, that'll do the trick. Does it fit? Did you try it? Um, ish. Oh, I hope it's yeah, a bit a, big. Another hat over the top. Okay. Be fine. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Uh, and then, um, Ben Nevis, and then, okay, yeah, just look, yeah, okay. Well, good luck with that. Hopefully, yeah, it's um, it must be. In, yeah, I mean, cycling after. I mean, I haven't done. I've only done a few triathlons, and I always found, a, like tomorrow, how long does it take you to warm up on the cycle? Do you think after? I to be honest, I don't think you'll ever be warm. Um, okay. Especially with like, I think the air temperature is five or six degrees. Um, oh God. Yeah. So I don't think you'll be ever completely warm. Um, yeah, you just get on with it, kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. to be honest. Yeah, I, yeah, I know. I know what you mean. Though sometimes after, after a race, or especially after after a cold swim, and then you're on the bike with the wind chill factor. Sometimes you always get warm, but sometimes it just never really happens. The muscles stay cold until the run, and that's what really warms them up. Get that impact. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, yeah. Or you get. I, I find once or twice getting like glute cramping. Um, when when cycling after swimming, but that hasn't happened in a couple of years now, so that's why. Okay. Yeah, I think with the because sometimes uh, swim runners um, kind of have a go at triathletes because they think um, you know triathletes can't handle the cold water, but they, sometimes people forget that actually getting off from a cold swim onto a bike is is a lot worse. So than, much worse than yeah. running, isn't it? So yeah, so in swim run, you you can almost handle more cooler water. Better, I think, uh, possibly. So, yeah, de- definitely. I think, yeah, I think I can hold, handle the cold to somewhat degree after last weekend. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's not not nice on the bike, especially cold. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, cool. And so you're, so you, have you got any swim runs in the in the diary for? Not, not yet. Um, I'm, I'm flirting with the idea of doing a couple more world world series events, and hopefully. Um, Either do it with one of my uni mates, Morgan West, who's a brilliant um, swim, swimmer and a brilliant runner, um, and try and like challenge at the World Series, and then yeah, try and do some of a, a British British racing as well. We haven't really decided. So next next year, me and Charlie, we have like a career break where we're going to go go away in our van that we're converting to travel around Europe for four months. So we may do some European racing in that time, um, but yeah, we'll try and stay out of the UK for like that well three months. Um, so that, that kind of misses our window for like doing the Eliminator um, next year in May, unfortunately. But uh, hopefully get a couple others later in the year. Yeah. In, but yeah, nothing, yeah, nothing in stone, nothing in stone at all. Mm. Now that sounds good, yeah, because, I mean, there's loads in Europe. Um, absolutely loads. France, Sweden, Germany, Spain, the whole, yeah, mm. all over the place. Um, and in terms of your triathlon, your, your triathlons, your kind of main main sport yep. is, is have you got what are your goals in in triathlon yeah so uh, next next year i'm hoping to get a pro license in long distance racing so i'm racing 
So, hope I should be, or oh, I'm planning to do Outlaw Full. And if you if you win that, then you basically get a pro license, or it's a gateway event. So if you win that, or you're one of the first pros when you in your certain percentage of the first person, then you qualify for a pro license. So that that's the pl that's the plan. So you use, use that that travelling block as a huge block to just get some really good volume in, get some mountains in, um, and just yeah, get get used to that TT position and get ready for Outlaw Full. Really, All right. That's the plan. Is Outlaw Fall, is that July, August, or when, when's that? Yeah, July, end, July, end of July. Right, yeah. Cool, and, okay. And then once you've got your pro, if you get your pro license, then is it realistic to then be a pro, <laughs> or is it see what happens? Yeah, it's very much see what happens. I, I, I still imagine I'll have to work somewhat, so I'll probably end up either trying to go um, a little bit part-time, or you know, quite a lot part time, um, or just trying to trying to see if I can race among some some of the best while while working. We'll, we'll see we'll see what I can do. Kind of thing. So ooh, we'll just get there, see what happens. Yeah, just yeah. Have uh, fun's the main thing, and for a little challenge, I've, I've been a pro in um, off road triathlons. I've been like elite, if you want to call it, in short distance sprinting. So I feel like that's a, another little challenge to do in itself. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Yeah, uh, you know, think, no pressure. Okay, yeah, cool. And um, have you done? So you've done more kind of the shorter distance tries, and, and yeah. have you done? Have you done a few Ironman as well, distance or? Is... I haven't done any Ironman. So this will be my first long distance outlaw. Outlaw right. will be the first Ironman distance triathlon. I did a, a half Ironman when I was, a, I was eighteen, um, and that was for for just just a bet really. It's one of my mates said you can't do it off one Red Bull. <laughs> Um, I did it on one Red Bull, but I did blow up. Um, so yeah, <laughs> there you go. That's good fun. Okay, very good, good stuff. And um, just on the shoe, people love the shoes, you know. And um, particularly Gothenburg. What what did you have on your on your feet, Lewis? I had um, I had the same ones I had for um, the Eliminator. So they're just a banged up pair of Toe X's. Um, yeah, one, one of my, my mates I work for, Priscilla Jet. Um, Precision hydration, Jamie. He, he advised wear toe X's, and I, I I normally run them anyway for my off road running. So I was like, use my old pair, and it's like, yeah, they, they do the job, and they they're, they're battered. So they got loads of holes in. So I was thinking that that's brilliant for really like, getting the water out as well. So that's perfect. Yeah, that's fine. yeah, brilliant. Yeah, I think brilliant. you think you can see when I when I dive in um, on one of the photos, you can see the soles of my shoes, and there's a good chunk of like rubber missing. <laughs> Right. Um, <laughs> going lightweight yeah literally yeah lightweight uh, I'll say yeah you don't need as much grip running on tarmac so hopefully it should be right yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Stuff. quality yeah I, I know like there's one or two like particular um, specified shoes for um, swim run but yeah I, I don't, don't have the money for that and um, yeah it was the first year <laughs> Yeah, well, no. To be honest, Lewis, you're right. The Terex ones are very popular. They do, they work. I, I use them. Um, uh, loads of people use those. There's no really. This it's basically trail running shoes that that feel good. You know, mm. that fit you, work. Um, yeah, and some people. Yeah, it's, it's yeah, it's that simple, really. Um, yeah. And then, I suppose the other, the other more maybe complex thing is is it, depending on the course the wetsuit choice obviously most people just have one wetsuit and that's what they wear um <laughs> but you can yeah they're so different the lengths of time in the water the temperatures the air temperature you know all that carry on um but as as the low tide boys keeping the kind of the the wetsuits as a modular so Eventually, when you when you just when you just do swim runs and you've forgotten mm. about your triathlon career <laughs> in the distant future, you probably have all sorts of bits of neoprene that you can, you know, or, or a little top underneath and, and mm. removable arms and all that carry on. Um, yeah, I've got I've got removable arms on my um, Sony free suit, and you've got little pockets on the inside, which is pretty handy as well. So when yeah. when it's golf and is fill every every pocket up. We're going to need all the space we can get. Um, yeah. And yeah, that, that that works. But yeah, I, I think I need a slightly bigger suit if I was going to have a like one of those vests underneath. Um, yeah. Purely just yeah, because it's it's quite tight. <laughs> yeah, 
fitting all the nutrition in. Um, yeah. And, uh, how was the? Because I've tried the old kind of Generation One, Zone Three evolution, but the the new suit looks pretty good actually. The newer suit, you, how was it? Yeah. I, I I like it. Um, there's, yeah, loads of storage. You got the storage on your legs, storage on the in, inside, uh, and that zip pocket on the back. So I've got no no issues there. Um, shoulder wise, shoulder mobility. I didn't feel so. Triathlon racing. I normally have a long sleeve wetsuit. I feel that this has recently been like limiting my shoulder mobility. I didn't feel at any point in the eliminator having my shoulders limited, which is quite nice. The only problem was the arm sleeves uh, kept coming down, so I have that gap between my shoulder and the rest of my arm. So um, either that's a sizing thing, or because of the dives, I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, that's that's the only critique I, I can think of. It's pretty robust. Um, Obviously, run through bushes, did the Gothenburg course. I don't think I've got any rips on it. Um, okay, sounds yeah, good. No, yeah, no, no qualms otherwise, or yeah, just all, all around a pretty good, pretty, um, pretty good, pretty durable, pretty buoyant suit. So, What's uh, what were the pockets on the legs? Are they whereabouts are they? Um, they're like just around to the so, oh, yeah bilateral on both legs and it's just round to the side uh, just a very small pocket like a kind of telephone um okay. sized pocket okay yeah and is the leg material is it neoprene or is it kind of another material <laughs> i think it's neoprene yeah okay I, I think i think so okay cool lovely i'll have to uh dry that one out yeah give it, a, give it, a, give it a spin yeah 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 uh, Brilliant. Well, Lewis, good luck in Scotland. Thank and you. Um, thank you for for, yeah, for starting Swim Run down in South East Swim Run and spread Excellent. the word out there. Mm-hmm. And, uh, good to see you at the Eliminator and hopefully see you in yeah. 2025. Thank you, thank you. Do, you, do you recommend any swim runs in the UK? Or what, what, what swim runs do you recommend? Oh, there's loads. I mean, well, you'll be away probably for Tally Clint Swim Run, which I organise. Obviously, oh. I've mentioned my ones. <laughs> That's yeah, a lake-based... Uh, one that's it's about it's only it's quite short 12k um let's have a think now uh coniston's if you want a long one coniston um if you prefer would you prefer lake or sea um i, I don't mind i'm don't mind. Good. ready i'll take cool. anything jersey jersey is a 53k that's pretty good yeah so that's september um abba Dovey, we've got one that in so, well, september last year or this year sorry just working on dates for next year. That's a great course. It's about 17K. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's, I mean, hokey cokey, the ones in Cornwall. I mean, they're the, they're the longest standing swim run in the UK. So yeah. um, John Yelland organizes that. And the, I've heard the of that UK, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Check yeah. It. And the precision fuel and hydration guys go down there quite often. Yeah. Um, they've got a, a three good races down there. So yeah, Isles of Scilly, um, and all the short ones like you've got um, South East Swim Run. I've got some low, a few short, really short five Ks, as you know, and uh, as keen as mustard as well down in the kind mm. of Peterborough area. So there's so many. Uh, I try not to miss anyone out because I like to promote all the organisers. Um, Gower Swim Run Gower and uh, Activity Wales events do one on uh, in Pembrokeshire. Um, but they're all, to be honest, yeah, they're all good. And and in Europe, Engadin is is a great one. Uto, Uto is brilliant in Sweden. Yeah. That's my that's probably my favourite. It's the first one I ever did, and it's my favourite still today. I thought Gothenburg was going to replace it as my favourite, but no, uh, I still prefer Uto. Um, How did you get that the, Gothenburg mark? I did okay. Uh, it was the first. Well, so second, I did it solo. Uh, I was doing a little solo experiment this year to see, because I've raced teams for nearly 10 years, which I love, and it is much better. Uh, but I thought, well, I need to, to if I'm going to, you know, properly talk about swim run and all its aspects, I need to try some long distance solo races. So um, I did okay. Um, 540 something. Um, and it, it suits the technical stuff suited me like the, those technical rocks is my strength really. And everything mm. else is my weakness. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> yeah. so like running flat or 
is is what I'm awful at. Um, long swims I'm okay at, but I'm, you know I'm not I'm not going to uh, yeah be near the top. Um, but technical rocks, the more broken and, and almost like rock climbing it is, the better. Um, and and so so that worked well. Um, if it had been a bit fitter, I think I could have obviously <laughs> obviously done better. But um, yeah, it was good. Um, I prefer to do it as a team. I think. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. So, but Uto, we sh- I should be in Uto next year. So if you're in Europe, and, and yeah, 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 it's a great, great place, and you get a ferry to it as well. That's very cool. So yeah, that's, that's nice. A, that's the main thing. That's, <laughs> yeah. that's what I look for now in races. Yeah. You don't have yeah. a ferry. I don't go. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, I, right. I've heard from Dominic of Oslo recently. They've confirmed the date for 2025, 14th of June. Okay. Entries aren't open yet, but um, I've told him I'm going to bring a posse over. <laughs> so, so that's that. recruited to the Mike Army. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then end of season, Oslo Khan is, is coming up in like two weeks, I think. Yeah. And, uh, yeah it's maybe if you think about next year, I know a lot of the French triathletes uh, and, and the swim runners do that one because it's, you know, end of season, warm. It's quite warm still. It's, mm. that's a cool one to do. Uh, it's, I mean, there's so many. Um, have you got a British swim run ID now? Yeah, I do. I do. I feel it. It's on the Excel spreadsheet. Okay. You filled it's it in. There. Cool. It's, it's there. It's there. <laughs> cool. Yeah. You do have one. Yeah. Good uh, stuff. Ho- hopefully I'll be climbing up the rankings. Oh yeah. You will. <laughs> you will. You gotta, you gotta do the races though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How many is it? Six races you have to do, or is uh, no, no. You, you do as many as as you, as you want, but um, mm-hmm. the, the top of the table. If you at the, this year, I think David is overall top, and I think he's done about six. Yeah, six or of course, seven. Of course, sure. David's top. He's a he's a yeah. king of British swimming. Well, right, yeah, he is. And he, he's a great guy. Um, Italian stallion. The Italian stallion. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cool. That's That's good stuff. We can, we can, right, well, thank you, thank you for your time, Mike. Uh, is there anything else? No, I'm I'm done. I'm good. I'm happy, mate. I'm happy. All right, that's good. good. All right. I'm so. going to continue my drive. All right. My, my quest up to cannot leave it. <laughs> yeah, good luck with that. There we go, Lewis Williams. The UK season is sadly over in terms of racing. Lots of opportunities for training, of course. Uh, it, was, it wasn't the warmest year this year, that's for sure. And... But, you know, it wasn't too bad. And lot, lots of races got done. Lots of new people to the sport. So keep spreading the word. Keep getting people involved. Um, some interesting points there on Kit, actually, with Lewis. Uh, the pole boy that fell down a couple of times. Uh, the, you know, the traditional generation one, if you like, was uh, have your pole boy on your, your thigh, on your side of your leg, which most people now don't bother with. Some people do still. But, you know, whatever works. But... Um, most people you'll see put it behind the back. Um, a high turnover for um, Charlie, so she doesn't like the paddles. Interesting. Calf guards didn't work for Lewis. So, yeah, some good little insights into someone who's an experienced athlete um, but starting out in swim run. Good little insights there. Always like a bit of kit chat. Um, so, what one thing, I mean, one thing in general... I do, for, for, yeah. Before we knew, the, the, before there were videos on how to do stuff, and, and I mean, there's loads of resources out there. I'm sure you've seen them. Low Tide Boys, SwimRun.com. I've got some uh, stuff on WeSwimRun.org from you know ten years ago, which is still relevant today. Um, but one of the things you can learn, look at the videos of some of the races, particularly. I mean, the Otelo race videos are, are pretty good. Um, and see, see what people are doing, see what they're wearing. Might not work for you, but it can give you some ideas. And then, um, yeah, try it out. So that's all for now. Until next time. This is Mike out. <laughs>